Hello everybody, it's uh, Bumbooed here again with Buttercup on Hemadol uh, to do uh, an exciting thing today. They uh, just released the Euro-Asian links. Hey Buttercup, what do you think about that? Um, and we're going to go see if we can uh, take a look at one and uh, do sort of a first look kind of uh, video on it. And so we're just going to get going here really and I'll talk on the way. Um, I didn't see any kind of hints or anything about where they start. The lodges don't give us any tips uh, back on the launcher. Uh, you can hover over the, the cabins and, and it tells you what's in the area, but the links isn't on either one of them, as far as I can tell. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be down south in kind of the heavy wooded sort of area. Uh, so we're just going to head out, head out here and go a little uh, west. And uh, what we're bringing today really is uh, for weapons. Come on there, Buttercup, is um, the 243. Just uh, the standard uh, beginner rifle here, just because 243 is ethical for the Bobcat and the Lynx, and it's uh, about the biggest caliber you can use. And Just going to uh, keep it simple and use that, because they're supposed to be the hardest and uh, the most kind of spares animal to find in the EHR. Uh, so, but that's it. We have our uh, electronic collar somewhere right here, and I did buy the the uh, USB stick to make the call work, and actually let's try that down, out now. Uh, let's see, links, toggle, there it is. That's quite the growl. Oh, and a yelp. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So that's working. Kinda cool. And we brought a tree stand as well, just because they're supposed to be really spooky. I think it, my strategy will be to uh, uh, just set up the collar at a fairly good distance away from the tree stand so we can get a look at it. And I imagine it works like the bobcat. It gets so close to that collar and then spook. Um, or maybe we'll put it right by the tree stand so it get in really close. So we'll see. We'll try a few things. Um, but the one thing I asked in the, uh, the live stream that I didn't get an answer to was if... Um... Oh yeah, look, they changed it. Uh, the duck. It says deer and felines. I think before it said deer and bobcat. Uh, so we'll set her on the track and see... It, or see if Buttercup can detect one because it's, they're supposed to be really hard to find and I think hello Mr. Moose um, I think since it says felines that she can detect uh, that so hopefully that's the case if it is you need um, if you have a spotting dog you need to be at least level 34 in the dog to be able to do it so I think that's going to be the strategy anyways uh, I think we covered most of what we're going to try to do. We're going to head west here. Hopefully, um, Buttercup can uh, detect one. And yeah, so she is, what is she now? Level 46. So she can definitely uh, detect the deer in the feline. And if you get the uh, spotter dog up to level 44, then she can detect in a 200 meter radius. Uh, so I'm probably going to walk around or run around, and, and hopefully she picks up one, and then we'll uh, call it in. Okay guys, just uh, an update on the hunt here. Um, so yeah, we started in the southeast, and I've done this whole trail here so far with Buttercup active on detection. And I've gone this far, uh, not a single detection on one, just a roe deer, a couple of roe deer in here. Uh, but uh, finally, uh, we traveled almost two and a half kilometers, and we did pick up a fleeing track over here in this area and I'm pretty sure, at least I'm hoping oh, that's a call there there we go so here's an area out here I might gotta get that in the right spot and Buttercup has just detected something so she's pointing right now so I don't know if there's two of them but I'm going to um, set up Set up the call on the tree stand. 
So she says something's there, but it might just be a roe deer. And because that was a new call, oh, well, there could be two of them. So we're gonna bring her in, and uh, I'm pretty excited and nervous. I don't want to lose these guys because they're, uh, I guess, really, really difficult. But I want to put up a tree stand and get close enough for that uh, electronic call to be effective. Here she comes back. If I place that tree stand within 100 meters, they're going to spook, so... Hmm, I, I want a good open area, too. Let's see, alright, I'm going to set something up and I'll bring you guys back in. Hopefully we can get uh, some eyes on these guys. Here we go, guys. First one, spotted female. There might be a couple here, actually. But I didn't set up the tree stand. I just set the call up behind me. Let's see how close they'd come in. So they've been calling. I want to watch it a little bit. Probably won't get to see the full animations when it's being lured. You probably have to just kind of watch them when they're not. I thought there would be a couple. But that must be her. Oh, she just ran too. Look at that. What range was that at? She spooked. I'm laying down. Yeah, you gotta be quick on that. So she probably got to about 60 meters or so. And yep, I was just laying down here. All right, so that's good to know. So I know the direction she got, she went. Uh, so we will track her down and at least get uh, get the first harvest anyways. Yeah, she probably spooked everything else. So, so she's definitely out here. And okay, we will go uh, see if we can get her back in again. Okay guys, I got uh, one out here somewhere, right there. So he's 156 meters out, it wasn't the same one that just called. That's a new call. See if it'll spot at this distance. I only got the normal spotting scope. No, I'm not going to spot at that distance. Or maybe, well there it is, yep, another female. So I'm just going to keep recording here for a minute, and I'll edit the video later, uh, just to see, because they're supposed to have some neat animations. There was just a little stretch there for a second, and uh, kind of see what she does. I'll have to take the shot eventually, because um, they're just supposed to be really hard. I think all animals should be this difficult, because it's kind of exciting to try and find one of these. She's going to start walking away, though, too far. It looks like some of the idle animations are just like cleaning the ear and stretching out with the front two paws. What range is she at now? She's getting pretty far out.
that tree. So I guess this might be a good spot to test um, how responsive they are to this collar. She was behind here. Yep, there she is. Okay, so he's walking away. So 186 meters. Let's see here. See if it's got that range. <coughs> Moose doesn't seem to care that she's there. He's not turning to the call, so might be out of range for the call. Yeah, she's not turning to it, so she's about 200 now. Alright, I wonder if the range is about 150 meters on that call then. Yeah, she's 200 now. She's not going to come to it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get a little closer for the shot with 243. Fall down this hill. I don't know the drop on the 243 at that range. Oh, maybe take a shot from here because I don't want to keep going down. Oh boy. Hold high, definitely. And she stops. If she ever does, or we're just going to shoot her in the butt. Maybe that's what we'll have to end up doing. I have no idea that was a hit. <laughs> no idea. She didn't seem to flinch or anything. Oh well, let's go check it out. Oh, there's the moose running. Alright, did I get my tree stand and everything, buttercup? I get it. All right, come on. Okay, there she is, right through this tree. Um, it wasn't a lethal hit, so we tracked her a bit. Um, so we hit her, uh, shot across here, and hit her, hit her down here somewhere. So we had to swing around, and um, Buttercup actually detected her. Now she doesn't detect me anymore. 50 meters and I'm crouched. She's right through there, but I can't get a shot here. It's way too heavy. She's right through there. Alright, we'll do it now. Right, we're done getting around now. We gotta get one. Oh, again, Texas Heart Shot. Nope. Man. She's going to move behind that tree again. It is hard hunting these. I think that, I think she just ran there when I moved. Oh no, she turned. There. I think she's down. Alright, there we go. Let's go buttercup. Man, that's, uh, that's pretty intense hunting. Difficult. <clears throat> Good though. So let's just, uh, I'm running out of time for hunting for the day, so just all this time just for the one. Uh, there she is. Let's take a look at the model here. Oh, I got the, uh, the little purple square glitch on uh, the blood here. There she is. So yeah, definitely see how they're related to the bobcat, that's for sure. 
but they're supposed to be larger. And nice little pattern on here. All right. Let's go into trophy shot mode just so we see. Oh, I did get in test time the first one. There we go, heart shot for the second one. 210 meter was the first shot in test time uh, through the left leg and 46 meters in that one uh, double lung in heart. Uh, so that was pretty good. I guess she wasn't going down from that intestine shot. I scored 6.104, um, 13.8 kilograms. So definitely not that big of an animal. There's the achievement for the first one. Move that away. Let's uh, bring her over here away from the purple square. And we will... We... Up, up, there we go. Hey, <laughs> trophy shot difficult. So pretty cool model. Uh, definitely like the quality of the animals they're releasing these days. Uh, nice big paws. Decent sounds too. The calls are really cool. So, well, anyways, that's uh, well, it was supposed to be a quick video, but I figured that uh, that hunt would take a little while. But yeah, that's it. Just just one link for the amount of time I've been hunting here. Uh, but if it helps. Uh, well, not really going to take a trophy shot, even though it's the first one, but we will uh, get out of that. Um, if it helps anybody, yeah, absolutely nothing over in this area. Uh, Buttercup didn't detect, detect it, no footprints or anything, but I did get two calls uh, right about here. So it looks like that's kind of a good spot to start. Um, on Twitter in the live stream, the devs were saying that uh, it'd be good to share where people are finding them because they're supposed to be really hard. So, and they are. That is pretty difficult. And now I was able to get within uh, within 60 meters of that one while I was crouched. Um, so maybe it's not so bad. But the other one did spook um, coming into the call, um, and she wasn't too far away, and I was laying down. So, but when when animals tend to come into the calls, they seem to be uh, heightened senses, so they spook a little easier. Well, that one. I guess I'd calmed down and was walking away, so she wasn't paying attention anymore. Uh, but that's about it, and the only thing I noticed is, uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's how you hunt them, like everything else, look for tracks and uh, wait for calls. If you have the if you have the dog at level 34 or higher, the pointer, then she can also detect them, and uh, she definitely helped uh, that even tracking, because uh, that, that animal, she turned, and Buttercup actually helped me track her down, so doing the scent hound job there as well in a way um, but the only other thing i notice is when you're using her though you, she's going to detect a bunch of uh roe deer on the way through so it's impossible to tell if she's tracking a roe deer or a lynx um or detected one but um yeah most of the time it's just going to be a roe deer is what she's finding and it used to be you could detect reindeer with her uh but it doesn't seem to be working right now so i don't know if that's intended or not but uh, if if she could detect reindeer as well then it'd be really hard to use the dog with the lynx uh, because you just be she'd just be detecting roe deer and reindeer the whole time uh, but right now she's not detecting reindeer anymore and she was when at the launch but uh, not anymore so i don't know if that's intended or not but uh, it makes it a little easier now because it was just roe deer or, or lynx she was spotting um, but anyways, that's it for that hunt. That was uh, a lot of effort for just one female lynx, but uh, I want to get some sort of video out. And uh, you guys all take care.